Hello City Turf clients, Dave here to talk to you today about the recent cold snap that we just experienced. Uh, here in North Texas, many are concerned about their landscape. Trees, shrubs, and perennials looking terrible. Leaves are brown, live oaks such as this. Leaves are dropping a bit early, although this month is the month that they usually start to push off their old leaves and out comes the new. Uh, we want to encourage you right now that it's very hard to tell that if these trees and shrubs are dead, uh, we want you to wait to see what happens. We haven't experienced cold like this in decades in North Texas. And uh, later in the video, I'll show you ways to check to see if things are still alive. But please do not remove and replace. And it could be until mid-April before we know what is dead, what's alive, what needs to re be replaced. Uh, the cold hardiness here in North Texas is eight. That means trees and shrubs and some plants can handle temperatures down to about 10 degrees. Uh, as you well know, it got to be minus two degrees, stay below zero for quite some time. So we just won't know just yet. Brown leaves everywhere. We realize your landscape looks terrible, but there is hope. Watch out on this video and I'll show you some examples. If you're concerned right now about if your trees and shrubs will survive, will not. Thank you. Here we have variegated pittosporum, and to me it looks completely dead, but we'll do the scratch test and find out. Scratch closest to the end at first. I don't see much green in there at all. Let's go a little further back. And there we do see some green in there. So what may happen here is they could die back by about six, eight, six to eight inches. We won't know until maybe mid-April. Here we have a Japanese maple. I think most deciduous trees will be okay. Let's check the tips of these. Scratch, if it's scratching green, nice and green, you can see the moisture in there, this tree will be just fine. You see buds right there, they'll be just fine. I think we'll be all right with this one. Here we have Indian hawthorns with uh, obvious freeze damage on the leaves. If we try to scratch green to the tips, all we see is brown. Let's go further down, checking for green. Still brown. Starting to get green. So we really don't know what's going to happen with these, and it could be several weeks to find out. Here we have a live oak. All the leaves are brown on most live oaks. Uh, we do think these trees will be all right though, and let me show you why. Um, these leaves were green and they were dormant, so they're just sitting there for the winter. Now they're coming off pretty easy, but you do see buds, tiny buds that will be the next new leaf. So these should come out. And if we scratch the ends, you can see there's green. So that's a good sign. I think these will be just fine. Here we have wax leaf ligustrums. Uh, with obvious freeze damage to some of the leaves. We're gonna experience quite a bit of leaf drop this spring. But for the most part, green to the tips you know that they're scratching green because the leaves are still green. So these should be all right. They're just gonna be a little thin this spring, but should recover after a couple months. Uh, here's some Yopan hollies. They don't seem to be affected at all by the freeze. I've seen several since the freeze and uh, they look like they'll be just fine. Hello everyone, my name is James. I'm the tree and shrub technician here at City Turf. I uh, just wanted to hop on real quick to remind everyone that uh, here in Texas our plants have a cold hardiness rating of 8. Um, and that means that they can survive temperatures down to about 10 degrees or so. Unfortunately we got down uh, below 10 a couple of times for an extended amount of time causing some damage and stress. I uh, just wanted to uh, remind everyone have some patience with your landscape. Um, it can be mid to late April before we see some uh, good new live growth coming out on them. 
so just wanted to remind everyone about that. Uh, we hope you enjoyed this video and uh, hope you have a great day. Thank you.